a new plant to introduce you to today, the uh, American Umbrella Leaf plant. It's a relatively little known plant. It's in, endemic to the Southern Appalachians. It just occurs in a small area of the Southern Appalachians. At a higher elevation, we're at 3,800 feet here. And uh, it generally ranges from about 2,000 feet up to about 5,000 feet. It's a very tropical plant with huge leaves. Now this is early May and it's flowering. Some pretty white flower, single white flower cluster. I'm documented now here in early May when it's blooming, but I also have a video in the late June and early July when it's fruiting. And of course, this just popped out in the last week. And the leaves are already about a foot or so across, but by and by late June, when they fruit out, I'll show you a video here in a minute. Uh, their leaves, individual leaves, can be as much as two feet across. Pretty impressive uh, plant. And if you listen carefully here, you hear the sound of pretty strong running water, because this plant is a water-loving plant. And it's right down here on the banks of a little stream. There's actually another little cluster of umbrella leaf plants forming down below here. And the plant, the cluster of umbrella leaf plants I'm going to show you next in July when they're fruiting out is, oh, probably another 500 feet above this in the same stream. And I think that they, there's a huge cluster up there. I think they tend to propagate downwards. And, uh, you know, they come in the exact same place year after year. And then gradually uh, spread along the riparian habitat. They're pretty amazing plants. There's only three species in the world from what I understand. The other two are in Asia. And uh, this is in the, uh, really right around the Great Smoky Mountains, Southern Appalachians. It's kind of a cool windy day here. These, you can see the uh, forest hasn't really filled in yet. It's just really green. The green explosion up here at higher elevations is just underway. And it's kind of like a, uh, a race for this plant to uh, get out there and get those big leaves going and collect all that energy. Because uh, in another couple of weeks, it's going to be pretty much closed off from direct sunlight. It's a fascinating plant. And in my constant endeavor to introduce you to new things in nature in the backyard, this is actually in the backyard north. A little stream behind backyard north. And right down here, some of you may remember, this is the area where we had the uh, videos over the several months from spring into summer into fall of the birds and creatures you know, visiting the stream. So, a very wet habitat. And actually a microclimate, because even though we're up at 3,800 feet, and it's really harsher in the winter, down in these little ravines by these little streams which are spring fed but the water stays around 50 degrees year round. It's uh, relatively warmer than normal throughout the winter. And you can see the other kind of vegetation down here. It almost looks like if you had designed some sort of uh, indoor garden or tropical or garden for your house you'd want to design it like that. But this is nature's handiwork. All designed by nature. And I'll show you a couple other interesting plants throughout this time of year. And here's a closer of another small closer that's first noticed it last year and it's in the exact same place this year, so it's persisting and it'll probably grow over the years. But it's actually uh, growing a little bit of soil that's collected around some snags in the small stream. Again, it's a very water loving plant. 
and pretty little white flower clusters which will turn into a reddish purple fruit late June and early July. Just to give you an idea how big these are, that's my hand and that's one leaf. And the single stem down there. There we can see the single stem and the two branches are up here in the subtropical rainforest of the eastern and southern slopes of Great Smoky Mountain just like you're in the tropical jungle it's just so wet up here in you can see there's a little ray of sunshine in the forest, but for the most part it's pretty dark in here. And they love to be near water. One of my favorite plants is the jack in the pulpit. But, uh, Pops up at high elevation this time of year. Fascinating little plant. Unusual wildflower. And those white, all the white uh, flowers you see on the floor from the flowers of a black cherry tree. It's blooming. May apples, current colonies. So here's a good sized colony. It's one large semicircular area of several hundred Mayflower plants. And they're kind of cool because they just reappear in the same place year after year. On this hillside. Schedule. 